Hello, hello. It's been a little while since I've had a Manted exclusive unboxing, which I'm going to have today. Got some arrivals from Mantis Marbles. So I've got a little selection of four Manted today that arrived in the post and I'm really excited. They're all a bit smaller than usual when they get fully grown these ones, but they're pretty interesting, pretty varied. So. Let's have a look, but first of all, just wanted to say these came from mantismarvels.co.uk. It's a small business. I'd seen them around on Facebook groups and stuff, and uh, they had some really cool, interesting species, reasonable prices. So I thought I'd give them a go. I've not bought from them before, but I've got to say it was really speedy delivery. I think I ordered these Sunday and today's Tuesday. So I'd assume it was kind of overnight delivery from yesterday to today, which is obviously really good. We don't want to keep them in boxes too long, especially in a post van in this hot weather that the UK's got at the moment. There's a nice personal touch. They've even sent me a little love heart packet, which is very kind of them. And very fittingly this, which I'd say is a little jumping spider, which is very fitting because, and I don't think I've said this yet, my jumping spider has laid eggs. I've got an egg sack, which I've since managed to extract. So I'm hoping the babies will uh, be hatching out anytime soon. And another really nice touch they've done, there's like a mini guide on the box here. Hopefully you can see it. And it just gives you a little uh, guide on what to do next, sort of the transition period saying, you know, they'll have eaten on the way here. They might want to have a little bit of hydration and let them warm to the room temperature before getting them out of their little pots and stuff. And also something that I didn't expect, which is actually a really nice touch is they've got a list of the mantis here and it says the suspected stage they're at, like L4, L5, and then it says next to it, eating fruit flies slash house flies, eating fruit flies, you know, like just a bit of guidance as well on what stage they're at and what they've been eating. But anyway, let's have a look at these little dudes. I've got some, I've got three basic small enclosures next to me here. There's one that's a little bit bigger, so that'll probably go in one of the established enclosures. All righty, mantis number one. This is the Egyptian pygmy mantis or Mia Mantis Peculi. This is the smallest of the ones I've got today, reaching kind of three, three centimeters for a male, five centimeters for a female. So probably won't get much bigger than what he is at the moment, actually. On the little introductory pack, it says that it's L4 or five. So let's have a little look, see. I'll get some macro shots of him because you can't really see in this uh, with this camera. But yeah, he's almost like a little, very white. And this little guy looks so crystal clear. He's almost transparent. Doesn't appear to be skittish, which is good. He's fairly chilled. He's got such a unique looking head, shape of it. Appears to be male, kind of hard to tell at the moment. Okay, one down. I don't think I'll, probably won't feed these guys today. I'll give them a day just to settle in. And next is a zebra mantis. He's looking a little bit skittish in here. Or Amamantis zebrata. Chill out. Very hard to kind of keep an eye on the camera and him at the same time. That's it, you stay there and dance. Can we see if you're a female? Looks female. So these guys get slightly bigger, uh, six centimeters or so apparently. A little bigger than the last one. But the main thing is they're really striking when they get their adult coloration. Obviously being a zebra mantis, you can kind of envisage what that would be like. We'll have uh, black stripes across the wings, which hopefully we'll get a, hopefully we'll get to see in a few months. 
Oh, wow, he's really fast, this guy. Right, next, this is a really different looking mantis. This is a panther mantis, or Taracadula pantherina. He's been buzzing around skittishly in this little pot since uh, since I unboxed him. So I'm gonna be a little careful with him. It'd be really interesting to see this guy under the macro lens because he just looks very different to most mantids I've had. I'll tell you what, he may look different, but that coloration on his back is so cool you can see why it's a panther mantis just while he's still let me try and get a shot of him I'll look better under the macro lens but there he is can you see how cool the markings are on his back i'm gonna to have to be really careful with this little guy because he's very very fast definitely the quickest i've seen in a while it's kind of erratic movements. But yeah, very unique looking. I think it's because he's got like a... His raptors are very small and he's got kind of a big round head. We get him in the enclosure. Um, yeah, you can see the speed as he's running along that straw. Very quick. Could easily lose this little guy if I don't keep an eye on him. And these panther mantids, they're used to slightly warmer conditions. Again, they get they stay fairly small, uh, only reaching about six centimeters. And I'll I'll have to do some reading on these because I, I think I've seen people keep these in sand enclosures before. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they are somewhat ground dwelling. Unless I might be thinking of a different species, but he's just movements are so different. He's a lot more leggy and a lot more reliant on speed, it seems, than anything else. Can't wait to see this guy catch some prey. All right, let's get, oh wow, he's so quick. I can't take my eyes off him, just in case. So last but certainly not least, we've got a grass mantis, which is Hoplocophora. Have I said that right? Hoplocophora species. And these little guys are interesting. As you might have guessed by the name, they live on grass. And they try to kind of mimic <laughs> twigs and bits of grass, I guess, by holding out their front legs in front of them. as a defensive camouflage. As you can see, very subtle. Didn't even notice you were there. Come on out. Oh, speedy little fellow. Yeah, can you see him there, kind of posing? Looks like he's planking. Very strange little guys. People think these are boring, but I really like these. I mean, they're like the Indian Indian stick insects, really long and thin. There's not a whole lot of specific information on this uh, species, so I would imagine he'll probably get fairly big. Usually these guys do like it quite heated, so I think I'll provide some additional heat for this guy and we'll pop him in a slightly, slightly bigger enclosure than the other ones just because I've got a feeling he'll probably need it. So here we go, we've got one ready to go. Welcome to your new home, strange boy. There he goes. Look at him instantly on the defensive. I'm never going to spot him ever again in there. Very good job at hiding yourself.
So I'm gonna give these guys a little bit of water just to hydrate them after their journey. Probably feed them tomorrow once they've had a chance to settle in, as I said. But it's been nice to get back to getting some new mantids in, especially after losing quite a few recently from old age. It's good to get some fresh blood in, especially these guys, because you don't always see many of these species around. So I'm glad I managed to get them while I could. And I'm looking forward to seeing these guys blossom into wonderful adult mantids, vicious little bastards. I'll certainly keep you updated on any developments with these little chaps. And that will be everything for today. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you enjoy this kind of content, I usually post videos once a week. But until then, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.